also if you notice that the build is actually inside of assets so we also have to write assets before all of this so I'll just do that once for all assets that's it save it now if I refresh and check main.js I'm looking for main.js so here you go so you can see that you've got main.js if I click on it there you go you can see that this is the file that is being displayed from here this is our main.js okay and the webpack is actually uh, you know wrapping it inside of the ifies the variables don't leak out of their own scope yep so the small ifies that's wrapping in okay great again if you need to know more about all these ifies and how webpack does all of this you can go to the webpack course over here uh, you know codetech.com slash course webpack tutorial course and you can take a look at this it explains in-depth information about how webpack works and how it bundles and everything okay great okay there is one more thing we need to do we need to add the Babel configuration so we'll, what we'll do is we'll go to assets and then we're going to create a new file and this will be a hidden file so we will do Babel RC I'm just going to paste some code over here and then I'll explain it to you so we have got some presets okay so let's take a look what these presets are so if you remember we had installed the Babel preset ENV and we also installed the ba Babel preset react so let me show you why we are using this so let's take a look at the ba Babel preset NV okay so if you take a look uh, it says that it's a it's a smart preset that allows you to use the latest JavaScript without needing to micromanage which syntax transforms and optionally browser prefills are needed by your target environment okay so this takes care of uh, micromanaging uh, about what syntax needs to be transformed for which type of environments so this makes your life easier and JavaScript bundles smaller okay so how does it work you can take a look at it uh, it says that they use these data sources to maintain the mapping of the version uh, for our supported target environments okay and then you can also target different environments so in our case you can see that we are able to target these browsers like for Chrome we want to support last two versions for Firefox last two Safari iOS Android uh, okay and then i11 so you want to support only up you know from i11 right so they allow us to target the la the specific browsers these preset NVs so even when the browsers upgrade it it will transpile the codes that are not supported by the browser okay so that's why it's it's pretty smart now we also have the Babel preset react uh, the reason why we are using this is because uh, later on we are going to be doing the Gutenberg block development and at that time we would need the preset for react as well because when we are doing development of Gutenberg blocks in react then we are going to be needing this as well so it says that automatically runtime automatic runtime adds functionality of these plugins so this preset is basically used for uh, react uh, when we are using JSX etc alright awesome 